Well, I hope you enjoy these uh, John Green uh, crash course videos as much as I do. Uh, he's terrific, and I don't have any idea how he does it, okay? I've used these a lot in uh, many different courses that I've taught for trying. Uh, some of you know by now that I've taught in Malaysia and taught in China, and these crash courses really help explain some uh, otherwise difficult concepts uh, to uh, students who are not entirely familiar with English or not entirely familiar with our way of teaching, okay? Uh, so he's brilliant, all right? And, and some of the things I noticed that he talked about is that reading and writing, uh, writing literature, it's an act of empathy. It's about helping us understand how other people live, how other people feel. And then we can compare those living experiences and those feelings to our own. So he points out in the video that's, that, that reading is a conversation. Okay, it's a conversation between you and the author. And also, he mentions, real life. You know, look around you, look out there and say, okay, this is what's going on. And you'll see in a lot of the readings that I've selected, it is to uh, bring you out of your own position, your own, I don't like to say shell, okay, but bring you out of your own brain, mind, right, that's filled with all kinds of thoughts right now, right, to bring you out and, and let you look at the rest of the world and say, ah, well, that's how other people feel. Isn't that interesting? And, you know, I feel the same way. How cool is that, right? So uh, there's there's a lot of uh, teaching and reading, all right? And, and what I also uh, enjoyed in this video is, <laughs> I've said this before, we're not reading in this class for symbolism. And in all these essays, I'm asking you to write practically one every week, all right? I'm not looking for symbolism, okay? And he actually says, John Green actually says, you know, the author's not even thinking about that. Sure, they use different, different ways of bringing words together to create an image for you, to paint a picture for you. Right, and that could be called a symbol, right? But if, if you don't see the symbol or the author doesn't, he doesn't care or she doesn't care, right? Or they're dead, right? What they want is for you to just enjoy it, get something out of it, learn something about yourself, learn something about other people, okay? And and, and that's it. And there, there's no mystery to the writing. There, there's no secret ingredients, all right? I all these different assignments that I have you do, I'm just basically asking you to compare them uh, to your own experiences, to your own thinking, to your own life, to other people's lives, all right? And just tell me what you learn from them, okay? So that's that's the point I want to make, right? And this I'm trying to keep these videos short because these are discussions, all right? But I want you to enjoy the literature, right? I want you to think about yourself. How does the literature reflect on you, okay? And then how does it reflect on other people? And what does it tell you about other people? Okay, so I don't want to make too much of this, but I love these John Green videos. He's really, and he, he must be brilliant, okay, because not only can he just do these, speak like that, but he does them on so many subjects. I mean, complicated economic issues, I've used them for, uh, business issues, that kind of thing. Uh, so he, he's terrific, and I think I have quite a few more of these scattered through the uh, course. So uh, I hope you enjoy him.